Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Are you looking to upscale fast without having to pay a ton of money for something like Topaz? Well, this workflow is going to be for you. We're using Juan text to video GGuff model with the light X to V LoRa or cause vid LoRa, and we'll be able to upscale locally up to 1080p for free. If you like this content, hit that like and subscribe button below it really helps me out helps the channel helps me be able to create more content for all of you all right so let's start off by downloading the models so these sh files they're just text files you can find them in the patreon post in the description below so open them up we'll start with the the text to video gguf sh file so the way this works you have a bunch of different gguf files here the q8 Underscore zero is the largest and gives the best quality, but uses the most VRAM and RAM. The Q3 is the smallest, worst quality, but uses the least amount of memory. I'm gonna download the Q3 KM version. Okay, so we have the file downloaded. Now, if we go back to the .sh file, it says to put the file in the model slash unit folder and to name it this, which it should already be named. So let's go back to our Comfy UI folder, go to models. And then if you don't already have a UNet folder, just create a new folder and call it UNet. All right, so we're gonna drag that GGuff file in. And then you can see it there. Okay, so once you have your GGuff file downloaded, you're gonna wanna download this .sh script for one text to video. Open that up. And then you're gonna to wanna to download all of these files the same way we did for the GGuff minus the full size WAN text video model. So you just need the text encoder and the VAE. And then lastly, for CauseVid LoRa's, there's two different ones you can choose from. You can either download the 1.5 version of CauseVid or the V2 version of CauseVid or the Light X to V LoRa. All three of those will give you pretty good results while only having to do about four steps. And it's the same process. So just look at the path for where it needs to be installed in and just click on the link or copy paste the link into your browser to download the file. Okay, so once you have all of your files installed, click on the workflow to download it and then drag it into Comfy UI. All right, and if you called all of the models exactly what I call them in these .sh files, you won't have to do any renaming or re-choosing of files. The only thing you'll have to choose is the right GGuff file. So I downloaded the Q3KM, so we'll try that out. If you don't like the quality of whichever one you downloaded, the Q8 underscore zero is going to have the best quality all the way down to Q3, so just... Keep trying them until you like the quality. Really the only way to see if it meets your needs is if you try it. All right, so we'll go all the way up to 1080p here. And then this workflow automatically will do landscape and portrait for you. Just make sure that this top one is the higher value and the bottom one is the lower value if you wanna change the resolutions. All right, so I have the Fusion X and one of the Wanfun Reward Loras in here right now, but I'm just going to switch to the Light X to V Laura for now, just to show you, you know, really simple workflow gives us pretty good results for 1080p video. All right, let's run it. Should take maybe five minutes or so to do this upscale. So I showed you how to download everything on Windows. Artificial Studio makes it easier for you. All you need to do is come into Artificial Studio and select the WAN GGuff, the WAN Speed Up and Enhancement LoRa's. Then you just click download, it'll download all the models for you. And you come over here and open up Comfy UI. So at that point, we're at the same place we would be if we just installed everything manually. All right, so you can see this is a 1920 by 1080 generation. And if we open it, 
we get really good quality. It really helps out with artifacts around the hands as well, I've found. One of the things you can do too is increase this denoise a little bit. Should help even more with uh, blurriness you get around movement sometimes. But if you raise it too much, you might find it strays too much from the original generation. Okay. So that is it for this video. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Join the Discord, share what, what you're working on there. Helps me kind of tailor the content for all of you. Follow my other socials. Appreciate you watching this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.